Hi, this is Guy at WeatherTech Roofing, and uh, we're doing a little trivia pursuit here, kind of thing. We kind of are interested if anybody knows what this is. And uh, little trick, though, let you know, it's held like this. You got a little thing there, and yes, smack it. And. Uh, Hi there, Guy here again, and uh, last month we showed you this little contraction and asked if any of you knew what it was. And uh, just information, it's probably out of the 30s, and uh, I showed you last month again also nailers how I nailed in the early 70s with my stripper. And this was an invention somebody came up with in the 30s, um, and basically that's what it was. It was a nailer for shinglers. I think it probably would have taken a lot longer using this than using a hatchet and an apron. But as you can see, this little door opens. And they probably used three penny nails back then for wood shingles. They were only, you know, quarter of an inch thick. This is a six penny nail. And basically, you fill this up with nails. The nails drop in the slot. They roll down. And they come down out into here. And unfortunately, a six penny nail is not going to go all the way through because it's too long, but a three penny nail would come back down here and you'd push the plunger and it hit the plunger and that nail would go into the roof. So it was uh, American ingenuity of how to get things done faster. So you hit the plunger with your hand or with a hammer? I think you would shake it like this, have your shingle there and hit it with your hand. If your hand gets sore, you know, you might have a mallet to hit it with because I think by the end of the day, my hand would be pretty sore. And after years of doing that, I'd probably have a workman's comp clam on my hand. <laughs> so that was a manual gravity fed nail gun. Yeah, it's basically it just you fill it up with nails. Here's that stripper I showed you last week. And basically you fill it up with nails and you shake them, you shake them down in. And if they're three penny nails, they're all gonna fall through and hang down. And then they slide down this trough. They got three troughs here for the nails to go down. Um, so basically you're on the roof and you're like this, uh, quite a contraption. <laughs> now today, you know, we have all air powered guns and they're kind of pretty spiffy themselves. Um, personally, I think hand nailing is a lot faster. You can get up there and get to work within 10 minutes instead of having to mess with a compressor, air hoses and air guns and clean your gun at the end of the day and oil it if you want your gun to last. Um, but either way, uh, you see the guys in all the videos on TV, they're all using air guns and uh, it does speed it up quite a bit. So in a day, hand nailer against uh, an air gun, it just depends how good the hand nailer is, but uh, they give you a pretty good match, an old timer. So anyway, there you go. It's a Pearson, Pearson's nailer. And uh, this was given to me by my mother-in-law, believe it or not. <laughs> so. It's even got a patent number on it. So, very good. See us at uh, weathertightroofing.com or give us a call at 951-929-0557 if you have any roofing needs or questions. Okay, my name's Guy. Bye-bye.